In the November of 2017, we decided to run a bunker camp to encourage people to come down and learn how to revet bunkers. Uh, so we thought it would be the best idea to choose the seventh hole, which is quite an iconic revetted bunkered hole, looking especially back from the seawall tee at a row of bunkers from the left to the right hand side of the fairway. So here we have the flyover showing you quickly uh, the, the bunkers from start to finish and the, the condition they were in before we decided to undertake this project. These bunkers have been revetted previously about six years ago, so they were due to get done again. The green staff from Royal Sigport started off by stripping all the bunkers and preparing them for the actual week of the bunker camp. So all that had to be done during the bunker camp was the revetting itself. That way we would give ourselves uh, the biggest chance to finish all of the bunkers in one week. The green staff from Royal St. Ports prepared all the bunkers so the guys from the bunker camp could just come in and get cracking on with them straight. Matt Purcell and Craig Potts from the Forest of Arden and Vince DeMarzo from the Wisley came down to help that week. You can see them putting in the first load of revetting in the, in the first bunker here, protected by some uh, Harris fencing. In the middle we have Ben Williams, who's our senior greenkeeper. He also helped organise the bunker camp as part of his a college degree. We can see here Ben Williams cutting in the taper for the bunker. The revetting is about three inches thick and three feet long, the 55 degrees angle on the fairway and 65 degrees angle on the green side making that a little bit steeper. We're flying over here, the first bunker that's finished without the edges being done in the shaping in the middle. Coming at the second bunker, you can see it's heavily protected by Harris fencing and we had one group working ahead, putting in the first rows for the next bunker so they'd be ready to start. And just panning out, we came right up the seventh fairway, what looked like to be a beautiful November morning. So the finished article in March 2018, uh, must excuse the dodgy drone flying, it's very windy. And we have a, an amateur pilot, James Bletch, taking over now as opposed to the expert that was Darren Burton. So you can see the bunkers are nice and crisp now. We have burnt the faces off and trimmed the edges to give them that extra extra crisp feel and make them really stand out. The, bowl, the bottoms have been bowled up so the ball runs to the bottom every time and not stay on the edges. The outsides have been rounded as GUR so the turf roundabout is GUR, however the bunker is in place straight away. This should be away within the next few weeks. We hope to grow the bunker camp next year and make it bigger and better than ever.